Okay, here we are in Final Cut Express. I'm going to cover basic editing for green screen in Final Cut Express. So here we are with an untitled project. Here's our movie clip, which I've already taken down to the timeline so we can edit and work with it. Um, here's our, our image, what the basic video looks like as we scrub back and forth. Same basic deal, just the subject in the front, green screen in the back. But there's this white section on the left side that doesn't completely get covered by the green screen. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to motion. Actually, first, just to make sure I've got the right clip, I'm going to highlight this clip. That way it makes sure we're editing what we want to be editing. Okay, so under motion, I'm going to go to crop, and it's the left side, so I'm going to take the left scrubber and move it to the right. So it pulls out that little white section that wasn't covered by the green screen. Okay, so we're good there. Back to video. <coughs> uh, now I'm going to go to effects. Drop down video filters and key. And in key, we have the blue and green screen effect. So I'm going to go back to this window and I'm going to pick the filters tab. I'm going to go back over here and drag the blue and green screen effect into my video filters tab. Drop down the video filters. And there we have the things we can edit with blue and green screen. So for view, final, that's good. Key mode blue, that's incorrect because so you have a green screen. So I'm going to drop that down and switch it to green. And I'm going to take this color level down in effort to eliminate the green color. And you see that start to dissolve until it's just about black. But the problem here is it's starting to dissolve the subject as well. So what I'm going to do is go to color tolerance and take that down and the subject starts to come back a little bit. However, this white lighter area, um, it dissolves right here, this white shirt area. So I'm going to go back to color level, increase it just a bit. Okay, perfect. Only now we have this green haze that's surrounding the subject, which we don't want. So I'm going to go to edge thin and take that down just a little bit. Not up, but down. Good down is up. Okay, so that's a little bit better. However, I can't completely see what's going on up here because my hair is almost the same color as the background, that really dark color. So what I'm going to do is go to video and I'm going to click this little A, click color solid and go to controls to switch that to white. Okay, good enough. And back to video. I'm going to go down to my video lines to the bottom layer of video and drag this white color to my bottom layer of video so that's going to be the background now so as I scrub this scrubber to the left you see it's it's still black right here as I scrub it to the left over this white background you see a white background <clears throat> so that gives us uh, a little bit of a better view of some of those darker areas that we couldn't see with the black background however you see this little green piece right here that didn't get erased when we did the green screening effect. So what I'm going to do to take care of that, what it probably was was just it wasn't lit up well enough in the video process so the the screening didn't take completely remove it when we altered that effect. So I'm going to go over to motion. First I'm going to highlight my clip, double click it, make sure I've got the right clip Go to motion and crop and take that to the left. Take the left scrubber to the right a little bit more until we erase that. Perfect. Now it's gone. Now if your subject lifts the arm up, it's going to be erased where that crop is. If I go back to my filters and unapply the blue and green screen effect, we can see the the crop ends right here. So anything in the video that crosses this line is going to be invisible. It's not going to be seen. So the benefit of that is it takes out what the green screen took, couldn't take out, but it also is going to take out everything that has to do with the video. So as long as your subject stays here and doesn't move around too much, it's not going to be a problem. Otherwise, uh, consider other methods. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to reapply that green screen. And once again, you can do whatever you want with this background, just like I dragged this 
uh, white color solid to the background. You can take a picture and put back here. You can uh, put a gradient back here, whatever you want to be the background for your subject once you've erased that green screen. So there you go, basic green screen editing for Final Cut Express.